Hey everybody, um, <laughs> I have the sweetest guy in the world. start today with, um, I was actually having a hard time today. Um, I wasn't even going to make a video today, unfortunately, but I'm going to try and take a few minutes to make a video. I'm feeling pretty sick today, so, um, <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm having a hard time sitting up. Uh, I would make it from bed, but it always, you know, it always kind of keeps me a little bit awake to sit by the window when, when it's bright outside. And um, so basically, yeah, I I went today. Or yeah, I know a lot of you guys have been wondering about my volunteer position, and um, I went for that yesterday. Um, the whole process was like four or five hours. I got up at 6 a.m. yesterday and drove myself to 8 a.m. to go to get an ID, get my uniform, get a TB test, which is a tuberculosis test, and um, go on a tour of the hospital I'm going to be volunteering at. And um, basically I had to sit through like a two-hour orientation. Um, it was really hard. Um, I'm not going to lie, the whole thing was kind of a comedy. <laughs> I went to, during the tour, there's like this elevator, I like to call the elevator of hell. It is an elevator where if you have a neurological condition, it will definitely affect you. Um, I can never take that elevator. So on the tour group, I kind of broke off from the tour. and. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> oh, my baby. Oh, you have kisses. Oh, you're so sweet. Yes. He is mooching in front of the camera. You can tell he wants to be a star. What are you doing? No, he's really been making me feel a little better today. Um, she wants my string? Is that what you're trying to get? Yeah. Okay, string. Yeah. Anyway, he <laughs> won't let me talk. <laughs> oh, man. So I broke off from the tour group, and now I have his butt in my face. <laughs> I broke off from the tour group and kind of sat in this little, this little side thing or whatever, and I felt like an idiot. I had, I had like the worst tachycardia, um, because I was so nervous not only about having to take the elevator possibly, but the fact that I broke off, I was afraid they were going to notice I was missing. So about like 10 minutes later, I waited for the elevator to come back down, and when they all got off the elevator, I kind of like inched my way back in. It's really something like you would have seen from a movie. It was really, like at that moment, it wasn't hilarious to me. It was like torture, because my heart rate was just going through the roof, but I kind of inched my way back into the group, and I know people noticed I was missing, and... Um, I basically followed the tour group for the next 20 minutes, trying to lean against walls, and whenever I got a chance, I was just so out of it. And, um, go with the rest of the tour group, and we walked for, like, about 20 minutes around the hospital, and, um, which was really difficult, and then we went to the orientation. The orientation, you know, I finally sit down, I'm like trying to get my heart rate back down from walking and the elevator incident and whatever, and then all of a sudden the, the speaker was like, okay, so we're going to go around and introduce ourselves and why we're volunteering, and my heart rate shot right back up. So I figured I just, whatever, I just pushed myself through this thing and I'll be a volunteer, 
and um, so I, I did. I pushed myself through it, and I was horribly sick the rest of yesterday, um, and I uh, had really low blood pressure, and um, my heart rate just was just it kept hitting 150, 160, 170. It just would not it wouldn't slow down. Um, so um, I got through yesterday, and then. Today, I have woman issues. Yes, we all know what I'm talking about. If it was to make matters any worse, I have the woman issue of the month. And if any of you girls or women out there know what this feels like to have the monthly woman issue on top of having POTS, you know what I'm talking about. Painful, painful, weak, tired, painful. I think that about sums it up. Yeah. And I can barely hold myself up right now. <laughs> but, so I can't really think straight to, you know, I'm, I really want to answer questions, but I can't really think straight to do that right now. Like I said, I feel like I'm really, really drugged up or something, but I'm not. Um, this is just the way that time of the month makes you feel on pot. <laughs> um, not on pot. I didn't mean to say that. I meant with pox. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy. Oh my gosh. But it's that time of month. And that's my question for you women. I shouldn't can't say really say men. But my question for you women viewers, um, is that time of the month. <laughs> We all get it, most of us at least. Um, how does it affect your pots? How does it affect you? <laughs> because right now, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. And having it with pots is definitely like having to deal with pots and then having to deal with that time of the month. Yeah. I suffer also from a condition called endometriosis, and they believe I suffer from a condition called in, in, interstitis or something. I don't even know. I never really looked much into it. I see, I think it's called. And for Just to clarify all of this for everybody that's probably going to start suggesting it to me. I don't take birth control. I'm not comfortable taking birth control. I won't take birth control. <laughs> And for the reasons is just for my personal self, like, I don't think it'll work personally for me. Um, I might try something else in the future, but I don't want to risk screwing up anything else with my body right now. And I know birth control can do that. And um, I, you know, I've also had tried a form of birth control a while ago and had really bad effects from it. But I know it works for some of you girls out there and I know a lot of you are probably going to say that you do take that and it helps a lot. Um, and I know it does help for some of you guys. But yeah, I want to know that time of the month, what it's like. Anyway, I'm sorry to answer any of you girls' questions. I, I'm going to try to answer them next week because I'm I have not had a very good last two weeks between the moving and the finding out I had Kiari and basically a bunch of other factors. Our car overheated so we had a car, we didn't have a car for three days and I got stranded outside in the cold for like two hours and my mom's like you need to pack blankets in your car and I'm like I don't think of things like that, I live in Florida. But now I need to be better about that, apparently. So, yeah, I had to deal with that. And then the orientation. And then the... Oh, I just seem like I'm complaining. But I am complaining. But I know we all have these days. So I'll get over it. And I'll be back to, hopefully... I'll be back to being a little bit more, like, peppier next week. Peppier. Is that a word? I think that's a word. Peppy. Happy, cheery, yeah, that's a word, I think it is. Alright, <laughs> bye guys.